Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn and today I am bringing you Gallery Walls Five Ways. It's been probably a couple of years since I've done this and I know the channel has more than doubled. I get a lot of interest usually when I'm filming around the house and um, so I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour of my gallery walls. It's not really a tutorial. Like I will give you some tips and tricks on how to achieve these looks if you have any interest in any one of these five ways to do gallery walls. But um, it's mostly just a walkthrough, a little, little bit of visual inspiration for the home. And um, yeah, to get you inspired to really put out your family memorabilia, put out those candids, and enjoy those memories around your house. I also wanted to say thank you so much for the huge outpouring of love on my Swedish Death Cleaning series. Episode 1, everybody was really supportive and wonderful, and it got a little soul-bearing, and I think it may go that way. So um, when you vow to touch everything in your home every single thing you own and really go through the thought process of if it really serves the life you want to live and if you love it enough to leave it here after you're gone for the people you love to deal with. I'm 44. I have a lot of years left. This 44 year old grandma has a lot of years left, I hope. But um, yeah, the book just really spoke to me. So next week you can expect sort of a intro to Swedish death cleaning and how it's changing my life and how it could change yours if it's your vibe. Um, but so far I've sort of already jumped in, so I'll be doing sort of an intro video explaining the process, but right now we're still, we're jumping in. What I'm inspired to do, I do, and what I'm inspired to film, I film. So also, thank you for all the interest in my new Etsy shop. I'm really excited. I'm finalizing really um, marketing plans, final product packaging. We're getting there. I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing, probably a surprise unboxing in a couple days of some of my final product packaging and um, yeah so I'm excited about that opening first week of March for my birthday and when I hit a thousand subscribers like subscribe all the things share because um, somebody is getting a freebie they're getting our flagship product for um, a giveaway for my thousand subscriber giveaway so do all the things, like, share, subscribe, and get yourself entered into the 1,000 subscriber helpful home candle giveaway. Also, Melody, Melody from Transforming Melody. I'm trying to comment. She, uh, this is the only way I could think. Sorry, people, this is the only way I can think to get a hold of her. Melody, I tried to comment back. She asked me a question and I've tried multiple times and I think you might have me blocked because I've tried to comment on three different videos to answer your question and kind of let you know how to get a hold of me so we can talk about the shop and um, they disappear. And so now I've gone into like friends and commented to make sure it's working and you're the only one, boo. I disappear off your comments. So all I can say is um, follow me on Instagram at The Helpful Home and direct message me because I just cannot figure out how to answer your question in a comment. They're just disappearing. So hit me up in a DM on the Instagram, The Helpful Home. Melody, go. Now, regularly scheduled programming. Um, let's check out these gallery walls. Five ways. Okay, this is the room we are going to start in because our little family room off of the kitchen, um, which is a little bit more of like a seating area, but it holds a good five people easy and it is adjacent to the dining and kitchen, but it holds two gallery walls. So gallery walls two ways starts here and we're gonna start with the simplest first and I will give you a few tips and tricks about how to pull that off. This one is as simple as it looks. It is just a matter of measuring. So you're gonna need tape measure, yardstick, actually probably a yardstick and a level will do you right and some of those command strip velcro picture hanger thingies that's my really technical tip velcro picture hanger thingies by command strip but they are just amazing so even if you don't completely get it put up there exactly the way you wanted it first try you can just wait for it to cure i would wait at least a day or so, but then you can just pop it off and straighten it out or do whatever you need to do to make sure it all looks nice and cohesive. But um, yeah, you wanna measure your space, but this one is just a matter of measuring. My little tip, trick, or tidbit about this 
photo gallery wall is that it is a vintage travel poster from each of our favorite vacations. So um, the only one purchased on site is our Seattle travel poster. We purchased that in the city of Seattle while we were there watching professional baseball because that's what we do in the city of Seattle. The other ones I purchased when I got home. I found a company that makes beautiful vintage travel posters and instead of buying crap on a vacation, you know the touristy, really horrible, plasticky, I mean the tackiest mugs, the tackiest tourist trap garbage. Not my bag, baby. So uh, I just sort of, when I get home, I usually go to this website. And actually, they uh, they have since put their products on Amazon. So I'll find a link to one of these and link it in the description box below. And that will give you an idea where to start. But they have pretty much everywhere you're looking for. And then you have something in honor of that trip that you're proud to display. And uh, yeah, so we just picked a few of our favorite family vacations and displayed those. And that is just a very symmetrical gallery wall photo or memorabilia display. Simple, easy, cut and dry. Now this one is asymmetrical and a little more willy nilly, but truly um, really not any harder to do. Probably easier to do once you really get at it because you're just looking to fill a space. It doesn't need to be perfectly symmetrical in any form. So as far as how to build this gallery wall, I usually measure out and you wanna make sure that it's high enough. This is quite a large vaulted ceiling. So you wanna make sure that it's high enough that it's taking up enough space. Uh, so that is a little bit above our half wall there, which is about the height of most people's ceilings. So you wanna make sure you really have a good size gallery wall display, spa display space. Wow, that's a mouthful. And then you wanna lay it out on the ground. I always build my gallery walls on the ground. And uh, something that I have seen other people do or a designer do on YouTube is block it out with crepe paper. Is that what you would call it? Um, what we used to call it like brown bag paper craft paper I think they might call it now so you measure out your space onto the floor in that size and then you're just filling in with your existing items and I lay out 20 30 frames and I just piece it together what is special about this gallery wall is that it is really a collection of vintage or antique family photos and some old photos of our family and then some new updated photos of our family. So I love a gallery wall, at least one in the home that is really a mix of your whole family history. So we have got hubby and I's wedding right there. Look, he has hair. He has hair and I'm a brunette. <laughs> 27 years ago, baby. And then there is our baby girls. Our baby girls who are now grown and married and grandkids and all the things. Next to that photo, I've got a wreath that my sister aunt made, you know, dear sister aunt, and she made me a couple of wreaths. I'll show you the other one in the office. And then I sort of decorated it up and I love to hot glue some frames onto a burlap wreath because it's just a great place to display my grandparents, my parents, my husband's parents. It's a picture of his father as the Rose Festival Prince in Portland, Oregon. If you're, if you're local, you'll know how adorable that is. And my great aunt and uncle that were just dear like grandparents to me. Now a photo of my grandbabies. See, I love to keep that on the same wall as a photo of my babies. How much more impact does that have when the grandbabies are right there by my babies who are also below? So there are my little girls, some poetry by my great-grandmother. That's my grandfather's band. And he raised me, they adopted me. And we'll take a peek at this here in a moment, but that is hubby's dad and his vintage car and my kids with my granddaughter. And then this is a gallery wall within a gallery wall. And I highly suggest this. If you can do it in a clean, tidy, cohesive way, a way to display a lot of heritage family photos 
is just a gallery wall within a gallery wall. So I've got my grandmother's veil. I've got a handkerchief that my daughter gave me from her wedding. I've got um, a brooch I wore to her wedding. I've got some beautiful cards my other daughter wrote me. I've got a belt buckle from a very dear family member who has passed on. And then these are just all heritage photos. My grandfather with his guitar pick, a stamp that um, my grandma's brother that is the stamp. I want to say that's Eisenhower when they were in Germany during World War II or after World War II. Um, he sent my great grandmother right there in the middle. This is the night he got home from the war and that is the stamp he used to send her a letter from Germany. So this is like all our special family memorabilia. Honestly, you can pop new photos in and out. You're not committed. You can just, as the mood strikes, and then you really have sort of a piece of history of your whole family history, blending the two of you and your spouse's families, and then your babies and their babies. So now I'm going to show you the sister to this gallery wall because I've done it two ways. Same concept, big asymmetrical, filling a space. I will show you the masculine version because this is my wall. Not sure if I can get this, but I think if I pull back far enough, you can see that Hubby has the adjacent wall where his desk resides, and that is sort of the sister gallery wall. So same gallery wall concept and done two ways. I laid out a big piece of craft paper in the size of the wall I wanted to fill, and I just started filling it with frames and objects. Again, sister gallery wall. I've also done a gallery wall within a gallery wall. So on this side, Let's see if we can zoom in here without making you dizzy. On this side, we have a chalkboard that used to hold my daughter's piano student schedule, but it's, it's generally the chalkboard that's used to hold like current information, as you would imagine, over the desk, appointments, students, things that you need to know are going to happen in the household. Uh, to the right is really only used for important things. Outgoing bills, tax information that's not a place to store, garbage and mail that comes in and flyers and whatnot that is only for important information. Outgoing bills and tax information. And then over here, these postcards were collected on vacation. So on vacation, I will almost always grab a postcard. Cheapest souvenir you can buy. And they're really quite classic and lovely. And then our last name, our family initial. And then these are some of those little dumpy souvenirs that you pick up in those tiny little gift shops on your vacation. I buy the smallest one I can and then I display them in a lovely gift case. So it sort of, it sort of gives it some structure so that you're not just looking at the tiny little snow globe that your daughter wanted from Disneyland. Um, a seashell, a baseball from a ball game. So all of those things sort of cohesively housed in one unit. And suddenly you have a functional and attractive workspace. I'm going to include this as our third because we do have gallery walls two ways, even though I've shown you two. We have symmetrical and asymmetrical. And then I have gallery wall a third way and I call a big wall size bookcase a gallery wall. This is one of my favorite gallery displays and it houses all of our family's annual photo album slash scrapbook, whatever you want to call it. I do Project Life, you do you, boo. But um, you can see they're labeled by year, starting with the year our first was born. So I'm currently working on our wedding Project Life album and the two years, two and a half years prior to Madeline's birth, Hubby and I have just a few, I mean, we have some pictures, but not like nowadays. Nowadays, everybody has cell phones. We have some Christmases and some trips, and so I'm working on that pre-children album. But other than that, these are the albums from every year of our family memories, and I am also currently working on vacations. I have a couple vacations done, but I've started re-albuming vacations. So what this down here is, is I have pulled out Starting, I believe, in 2015, I pulled all of our existing photographs out of mismatched, unattractive, 50 bazillion types of photo albums. I've rehomed them 
um, using, you know, archival quality paper, archival quality pens, and journaled and added all of our children's memorabilia, schoolwork, anything we gathered along the year and housed it safely in one place. So each one of those years has all the family memories and photos. And then as I went, I found our favorite family snapshots and I just displayed those right above it. So you kind of get a little taste of our family life. Now this is not heritage photos. This is just our immediate family photos. And when our daughters got married, I did include their engagement shots down here. Are those not the best? I mean, there's a whole photo shoot from each, but like, can you see the happiness? Oh, look at my babies. So that is their engagement shots. And that's where that ends. I didn't, oh no, I added grandkids middle left I forgot um, but the bulk of this is our family hubby and I and our daughters and like our adventures growing up our beach time our baseball time our time on the lake a little taste of Disney but not a big taste of Disney because you're about to see gallery wall fourth way floor to ceiling Disney memorabilia that's our fourth way but this is the third way that I recommend you think about styling just a nice big wall size bookcase and then you can house your photo albums and your favorite family candids. All in one place, I have vintage cameras that I have collected along with antique books, and those I just staggered, as you can see, diagonally throughout that process to kind of show you this is where the photos are. This is the home of the family memories. So now, gallery wall number four, floor to ceiling. And for me, floor to ceiling gallery wall, that's where the Disney nonsense goes we're a little crazy okay fourth way gallery wall fourth way floor to ceiling Disney memorabilia so do your gallery wall floor to ceiling in any manner you see fit for me where I needed the most space and I thought it would make the most impact is with our Disney memories and memorabilia so as you can see when you're walking in the front door this is what greets you at our casa and I did wrap the wall a little bit I added a black and white from one of our daughter's early trips certainly not their first but a classic family photo taken on black and white 35 millimeter millimeter film people film and then um, the same picture recaptured on Madeline's Madeline and Claire's last trip together prior to my oldest getting married so one of their early trips and then their last trip prior to, you know, life moving on and the girls fly in the, fly in the nest, flew, flying the coop, as they say. And so how I did these, actually a friend of mine helped me with these, but same, same theory. We didn't actually use craft paper, but we did mark out the size of the wall on the floor. Oh, really, Lou? Really? <laughs> Would you like a little dog butt with your gallery wall? And so we mapped out the size of the area that we were filling, and then we just started filling in with the important pieces first. So anything you need on that wall, like the Disneyland sign from the park, like um, my share, my husband bought me a Disney share and had it mounted and framed for one of my birthdays. As you can read, it says, your first stock to the happiest place on earth. Now you can call our vacations business trips. So that was a special gift from hubby to me. And I knew that needed to go on the wall. I knew I needed some shadow boxes to hold um, original Disney tickets from the park. That's the opening day press packet. I've got some tickets back for when the Mark Twain and the railroad had ticket passes a puzzle that we did together as a family, a picture of our family brick, and a picture of all our feet on our last trip together in front of our family brick, and a piece of subway art with all of our favorite places and favorite memories, hands down, of the park that a friend of mine also did. And then that right there is a silhouette that they do on Main Street. That is my silhouette from when I was a child. And then over here we have my daughter's silhouette. So all of these special memories for sure. The tip and trick for putting together this busy of a gallery wall is cohesive frames. So we laid the whole darn thing out 
All of the frames were completely mismatched, had nothing to do with one another. We literally went for size and shape, and then we painted them all and stained them all so that they all matched, at least in the wheelhouse. They, they aren't all exactly the same color because I didn't want it to be that cookie cutter, but they're all in the same wheelhouse. So that really brings that all together. And to be honest, the doors in my home are black pretty much because that's what I wanted for that gallery wall. I know that sounds crazy, but I really wanted a piece of black in the middle of that gallery wall. And thus all of my doors in the house went that color. So um, as we're moving on, I do want to show Christine, my Disney queen, my Disney girl, one of my prized possessions, a light from the main street electrical parade. That's one of my favorites. Oh, what a treasure. And so now we're going to move on another way. Well, huh, okay. Okay, first I'm going to take you around the hallway because the Disney gallery wall may also extend down the hallway. It didn't fit. So I'm going to show you the rest of the Disney memorabilia before we do our fifth and final gallery wall five ways. There is just no way to do this portion without using indoor lights, so you're going to have to deal with some really harsh, horrible yellow indoor light. However, Oregon in the wintertime is very dark, and I've been barely scraping by by the skin of my teeth out there without lights on. But alas, the start of our gallery wall was Hubby and I buying a vintage travel poster from within the park on Main Street at the Galleria, which is no longer there. However, um, you can still buy the posters. And we used to pick one up each trip. We did eventually have to stop. I mean, there's been a lot more trips than this, but we went with just our absolute favorites. And, you know, we're so old that a lot of these aren't even there anymore. But our favorite vintage travel posters had those, they come matted, had them framed, repainted the frames to match the rest of the gallery wall and bought the Main Street sign from within the park to put above our Disneyland Railroad vintage travel poster and bought the blueprints to the Haunted Mansion to put below my other favorite piece of memorabilia. Nay, this may be my favorite, even above the Main Street electrical parade light because this is my Haunted Mansion wallpaper. Now, when I was little, I used to dream of having the Haunted Mansion wallpaper in my bedroom. Like all I wanted was to grow up and have the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. And most people want the stretching room wallpaper, the stretching room stripes. And I can see that, I can understand that, but I did not. I wanted the foyer, the place you walk inside and you stand and you wait in anticipation. I wanted the foyer wallpaper. And this is a authentically certified piece of the Haunted Mansion wallpaper from both rooms from the 1982 refurb where they took down the wallpaper and replaced it. So this is the original wallpaper that I used to see when I was a child and it just makes me so happy. It's just like a piece of my childhood right here in a frame. And another tidbit is these are amazing and these are great for a gallery wall. Now I highly doubt I will change these out, but if you want to change something out, these are from Aaron Brothers and they are amazing. It's an eight by 10 and it's basically a shadow box. You flop it in and out and you can put whatever photo, whatever memorabilia in there that you would like. Genius. And our last gallery wall, five ways. Um, it's also gonna be hard to do without harsh indoor light because it's also in the hallway. And this is a cohesive way to display a lot of family photos. I wanna say 25. Yeah, 25 photos per frame. So you take a poster frame, Michael's, Aaron Brothers, Amazon, anywhere will have them. I backed it with craft paper, like scrapbooking paper. It looks like burlap, it's just scrapbooking paper. I wanted something that would go away. I went with my cream with a dark patina stain over top so that it would match the rest of my gallery walls in my home. And then I went through all of Claire's childhood photos for her graduation and I cut them four by four. I ordered a whole bunch of mock Polaroids off of Amazon. They're not real. And I glued them on. Once under glass, that looks like, here's Madeline's board. I did the same for Madeline. These both were done for their graduation parties here at my home. So those were out for everyone to see. 
just a little snippet. It starts with a childhood photo, it ends with a graduation photo. And that is a little slice of Madeline's life, or Madeline's school age years. And there's Claire Bear. Got a little Disney, got a little lake time, got a little baseball, little beach time, all the things, all the things that our family loves and enjoyed doing while they were growing up. So here's a gallery wall that holds 50 photos of my children's childhood. Cohesively, simply, if your mind does not like visual clutter, then this might be the method for you. And there you have it, Gallery Walls Five Ways. Not so much a tutorial as tips and tricks on how to display your favorite, most treasured family memorabilia and photos, including candidates, people. Put out your candidates. Nobody wants to see your studio pictures. Nobody. Really, the most attention I get in my home is that wall-sized bookcase full of family candidates and photo albums. And pretty nearly everybody that comes by kind of wants to hear about it or ask about it. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice to not just have artwork in your home. Even behind me, I have the vintage um, travel posters from our favorite vacations. And it, it is artwork, but it's artwork that means something to us and draws some visual interest and stirs the heartstrings a little bit along the way. So here's to some inspiration and um, just a little Easter egg. Kaylee, one of my subscribers, caught. If you want to look in the comments of my last, last Swedish death cleaning video, my oldest, Madeline, had a panic attack and thought I was throwing away her Aurora ornament. It was pretty priceless. Um, she typed that in all caps in a panic before she finished watching the video, so she's fine now. And, uh, of course, we're not getting rid of anything without discussing it with my babies, but my babies watch my videos, so it was pretty funny. She uh, she had a little panic, and then afterwards she messaged, I'm all, I'm all right. <laughs> had a little panic. I'm all right now. Just wanted to make sure that was mine. So, um... Yeah, welcome to the Swedish Death Cleaning. It's a, it's a family affair. And for more Swedish Death Cleaning, be here on Thursday. It's going to get real, real. Thursday is an emotional, real, real situation. It's also a hidey hole. It's a tiny hidey hole of disorganization that nobody knows I have. It's right under their noses, and they look at it when they come over. So for that little tidbit, stop by Thursday for another episode of Swedish Death Cleaning on The Helpful Home.